we do YouTube. This is your boy Sherry Speeds, and then I want to talk to you guys about The Walking Dead mid season finale. Season 7, episode 8, Heart Still Beating. And you know, in today, that title has reigned true. You know, we witnessed two deaths, unfortunately, from Alexandria. You know, and I thought it was, I thought it was a close call for Aaron, first off. And I'll explain why in a minute. Um, <laughs> you know, this episode starts off, you know, pretty good, you know, pretty mellow. You know, you see Maggie go on top of the hilltop and just look out and get a fresh, fresh hair. You know, and then later on you hear her jokingly talk with Edie and Sasha about her running for president. You know, her running the hilltop. I think it would be a good idea amidst, you know, what she's been through and everything like that. I think it's necessary. And it makes a lot of sense. Because old man Gregory is just a stiff and the fuck up. So, and then also with that being said, you know, Aaron and Rick finally get to the, to the little place to get the cash for all the guns and supplies for Miki's bitch ass. Who still is having his pimp hands strong. <laughs> You know, with a Lucille by his side, he's the main hoe. And so, that was, a good, that was a good to see. I'm sorry. And then also, you know, you know, Aaron ends up getting his ass kicked because when they get back to Alexandra to greet the savers with their surprise and shit, he gets, Aaron gets his ass kicked because of the little note that the guy, that the previous owner, left at the place saying, Congratulations. If you got this, you got it, but you didn't, you still lose. Which I think really rings a bell to the saviors. It's like a little premonition to them. But they don't see it, of course. You know, so after that, you know, then... Unfortunately, it was a little bit too late for Spencer. Because he decided to try to sweet talk Rick to, you know, rubbing Rick out. So then he can run the shit. And just like in my typical fashion, it's my typical theory. And he can saw that shit from all the way. And gutted his ass. Literally. One single stab while they're playing pool. And that sent Rosita over the edge, who prior to that was talking to Spencer about having dinner that night because they had a, you know, because Spencer was wondering why did they, why did she play him and stuff like that. And then prior to that as well, and Rosita had a talk with Gabriel. And, you know, Gabriel pretty much said, if you want to kill him, that's fine. But you don't have to be honest. You don't have to lie. You know, since this is going to be our last conversation. And then amidst that as well, you know, unfortunately, when Spencer was gutted like a fish that sent her over the edge, which led to Rosita drawing her weapon and shooting that one that one measly little bullet that Eugene made her. And um, it missed Negan terribly. It hit Lucille. I guess the reason why it only hit Lucille is because, you know, she was probably still, you know, caught up in the moment, you know, she just saw the guy she liked get shot. And so that could be the reason why her why the bullet blew off. I think I'm thinking it's gonna hit like a little cusp of his jacket, you know, like by the shoulder or whatever like this. Like a little skid. Or like maybe a little flesh wound, but no. She hit the damn bat. <laughs> so, you know, that that prompted, you know, Robin one of uh Negan's goons to tackle her to the ground and put a knife to her face. And pretty much Robin, pretty much Negan gave Robin the choice. Okay, what do you do what you wanna do? You wanna kill her? What? So that made Robin pull out her gun and shoot Olivia without even looking at her, which is some bitch, which is, I think is some real bitch shit. She was innocent. She shouldn't have been killed. So now that's two less Alexandrians. Spencer, you pretty much just brought that on your damn self. Because um, you were pretty damn stupid and ignorant to think that Nikki would actually fall for that shit. Um, Olivia, of course, baby, you were innocent. You didn't deserve that. I'm glad Judith was not up there. You know, which pretty much is gonna be, which pretty much is the final straw that that broke the camel's back with Alexandria. They're done with it. They're tired. They're finished with it. And not only them, but so are the hilltop, and so are so is the king. <laughs> which, speaking of which, one of the knights, I call them knights, the members of the kingdom, comes over to Carol's place, unbeknownst to her. You know, because originally Morgan went over, was over there to see how she was doing. And um, he's telling me, listen, man, you guys got to fight back. Because I don't think that the Saviors are going to honor their deal with us or you guys. Because you can't trust them. You know, there's a, this big old little bit of a blow up because everything's peaceful now. You know, and Morgan's telling the guy that, listen, things are peaceful now. Maybe we can roll with this. He said, listen, you cannot trust them. They're going to probably fuck you over sooner or later. And he's probably right. They probably will. You know, and to which Carol says, you know what, this is not my deal. I don't want to deal with this. I'm done with all that. So, he just let the guy go back to his place. And crying his eyes out. Which, I respect, because I would do the same thing. And so, 
who knows what's gonna happen. But I know for a fact, you know, in terms of like previews and just knowing about the situation that they're gonna rebel. As you saw at the end of the at the end of the episode, uh, reunited between Rick and Derry finally with everyone else of the remaining Alexandria. That fight. It was really good. I liked seeing that. It was pretty it was well it was well done. You know, and then also you see Daryl killed and smashed this fat guy, fat John or fat Joey's head in with a bar that pipe that he got. After telling after um, Joey stupidly told Daryl, Listen, I'm just trying to get by and then Derek saying, It's not about getting by. It's about getting off. You know, then you see what Michonne still talking to old Red, you know, she's one of the saviors. She said, we're all Negan, you know, that, that typical bullshit. And then Lady tells you, listen, the signs is in the damn black apartment. After you get done with what you're doing, burn the car, roll it down the damn hill. And then that's, that's what we, which leads to Michonne telling Rick when she gets mad, it's all about us. You know, I, I'm thinking I want to do things my way, it's about doing things our way. So we can do things for Judith, for Carl, for everyone. So we need to take a stand, we need to rise up. You know, that's it, basically. And so I can't wait for February because that's when it's coming on. AMC does a great job of, you know, bringing things right back where, when it's supposed to. So I cannot wait for that. You know, I will be, of course, be reviewing, though, that Better Call Saul, um, this new episode, this new show called The Sun, and then Into the Badlands, and then possibly Humans. I'm not sure. I might do it. It depends on if you got it's your call. I might do it anyway, but we'll, we'll see. Not making any promises. Um... It's your boy Shaker Speech. You know, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel. All that other guys, man, I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. It's very much appreciated. Um, please not be dying, man. Merry Christmas. Happy and having a great new year. I love y'all. Ball out.